Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So tonight's video, we got another one coming out for you. Was supposed to come out with this a little earlier, but I had to go train some clients. But this is on Anthony Joshua, and I've seen a lot of this on my news feed, and I was very intrigued by this. And it says, Anthony Joshua set to bank career high purse in Miller defense, okay? And it says that in this article on BoxingScene.com, Anthony Joshua is set to pocket a career high purse for fighting Jarrell Big Baby Miller on June 1st in New York. The WBA, IBF, IBO, and WBO champion was expected to defend his belts at Wembley on April 13th. But after failing to secure a big enough opponent, AJ will now attempt to crack America. It also goes on to state in the article, his promoter Eddie Hearn says a deal to fight New York native Miller is now close to completion and their Madison Square Garden showdown could be rubber stamped before the end of the week. And it is understood that Joshua will earn around 25 million euros or 32 million U.S. dollars for his part in the Big Apple Clash, which would eclipse the $20 million euro he banked for beating Alexander Pervekin in September. Most of the money will be stumped up by Hearn's U.S. broadcast partner, DAZN, while Joshua will also earn via U.K. pay-per-view sales on Sky Sports box office. Hearn said, I would say it is 80% likely that Joshua will fight Miller next. The money is not just coming from the zone. It's Sky Sports box office. It's Madison Square Garden. It's international TV. Every marketing executive and PR specialist have always said, you have to fight in America. And the timing just appears to be right. Quote. Now, with this being said, before I say anything, I actually want to give Anthony Joshua his props on this because you want to know what? If you're able to make $32 million fighting Jarrell Big Baby Miller, do do the damn thing, dog. Get that money because that is a freaking lot of money to be fighting a dude like Big Baby Miller. You know what I'm saying? I would not think that he would be banking that much money off of fighting Jarrell Miller. But like I said, dude, if you're going to get that money fighting Jarrell Miller, dude, do the damn thing. And you got to give him his props for being able to get a bag like that from the zone. But what trips me out is you're willing to come to the USA to fight Big Baby Miller for 32 mil, but you didn't come to the USA to fight Deontay Water for 50 mil, and not only were you going to get 50 mil, but you were going to get upside on pay-per-view, and plus you had the chance to fight for the undisputed championship of the world, being able to collect all the belts just like you have been saying that you want to do. That's the main thing that kind of trips me out because personally, I would have rather saw that damn fight last year before you fought Povetkin when everybody and their mama was really talking about that fight. And at the same time, you turned down $50 million just to get less money than that to have Deontay Water go to the UK to fight. And then you guys gave him a low ball offer. But you want to know what? It is what it is because that's pretty much in the past. And we already know that's not happening again because... It's pretty much going to be evened up the next time they go into negotiations. But I can definitely understand where they were coming from because they were even stating something of the sorts as why take a potential high risk fight for that much money when you could still make the same amount of money that you've been making, which is pretty good money because they said he made 20 million euros when he fought Alexander Provekin. So being able to get that much money to be able to fight less dangerous opponents, I can see why you would do that because if you can get $32 million, that's more money than he made for Alexander Provekin to fight a less dangerous opponent in Jarrell Miller. Dude, I can understand exactly why he's doing what he's doing and I can understand the exact seven-year plan that Eddie Hearn and them at Matchroom Boxing Hat laid out for a dude like Anthony Joshua because they're all going to be banking money on Anthony Joshua with him fighting potentially less dangerous opponents than fighting a dude like Deontay Water who has that one hit or quitter and he has the equalizer to be able to stop everything that you're trying to work for. But at the end of the day, we all know that fight's going to end up coming into fruition. And I can pretty much see how they were trying to build this fight up over all of this time, trying to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. So when they actually do fight, 
it possibly will do a lot of pay-per-view sales just because of the anticipation and all the friggin' beef that's been surrounding this damn fight between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Now, with that being said, with this dude getting a big-ass purse like this, $32 million just to fight Big Baby Miller, I was thinking that all of this money was coming from DAZN. It's not just coming from DAZN, but it's also coming from Sky Sports box office since they do work with Anthony Joshua and he's contracted to them. But at the same time, how much money is this fight really going to generate just for the simple fact is, like I said, Anthony Joshua, he's not that big of a star here in the United States. And Jarrell Miller, he's definitely not a big star here in the United States. So with you having two people that aren't stars here in the United States and he's making this U.S. debut here with a dude with Jarrell Miller. Dude, I guess only time is going to tell what this fight is going to generate. How much money is this fight going to generate at the gate? How many people are going to get that app zone to watch this fight? And hopefully the zone ain't breaking their friggin' pockets to be able to pay for this fight and not making anything off of it in return. All right. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section. I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.